A while back I disassembled uh, the spindle of my uh, uh, vintage scatter lathe so I could uh, machine a V-groove into the uh, round leather belt uh, pulley. Now this job is done and it is uh, time to reassemble the uh, spindle. But before I start uh, reassembling I'm going to try and see if I can uh, clean up these uh, rough journals here. I want to mount the uh, spindle in the lathe so I can polish up the journals but before I can do this I need to clean up this edge here. There is some damage and uh, it's pretty sharp and it will damage my uh, life center. So I'm going to uh, well try and remove the burr with my uh, Dremel. And I'll do this off camera because I don't see nothing. As you can see I've got the spindle mounted and I'm using a bit of copper shim stock to uh, protect the thread on the end of the spindle. Before I start polishing let's have a quick look at the uh, current state of the uh, journals. Here's a look at the uh, rear journal. And this whole part here is uh, the journal. Normally the uh, spindle would ride over here, but when treading it will move up to here. And here's the front uh, bearing journal. And obviously it's a little worse than the uh, rear, but I guess that is uh, kind of uh, expected since it's uh, taking more of the load. That's a nasty spot over here. There's also a bit of damage here on the part that's only used for threading. I'm going to use this uh, broken hardstone file to uh, try and uh, polish up this uh, journal and I only want to remove those sharp edges. I don't want to take anything off the uh, OD. And I'm hoping that by removing these uh, sharp edges here I'm improving the flow of oil through the bearing. I can feel the drag is getting less. There's a one spot that I can feel hitting the uh, stone every uh, revolution. Well, I'm going to do this for a while and then I'll switch to the front journal. I'm pretty much done polishing and I don't think I can uh, get it any better. This spot over here was uh, really bad. I think some uh, third party object got into the uh, bearing. But uh, I don't feel that uh, spot hitting the stone anymore. So I think it is uh, as good as I will get it. from side to side here it's still pretty rough. Now I'm going to clean up this paint here so I can uh, run a dial indicator against it.
still have a problem with this uh, round nut that uh, locks the uh, pulley in place. It only threads on there till about this far and I have no way of uh, grabbing the spindle tight enough to uh, force it further on there. The thread here seems to be uh, pretty good and I have uh, ground out those uh, damaged spots so I think the problem is with the uh, nut. It feels like there is some damage here. Well, not much I can do about that. Let's hope for the best. So here's the uh, next problem. This nut here doesn't want to go on any further. And I think I will need to chamfer it on the inside here. And there was no washer between the nut and the template here. And because of this there was some damage to the rear of the nut here. Which uh, I grounded out. So uh, I will need to make a uh, washer now. Well let's try it again. Well that uh, didn't do it. I uh, took another cut and it still won't go on. I just about had it with all those stupid threads on this spindle. I don't see anything wrong with the threads. Stupid old junk. Um, on the plus side I did find a washer that uh, almost fits perfectly. So that saves a little work. I'm almost ready to uh, put things back together. But before I do that uh, I want to remove these oil cups and uh, give them a good cleaning. And I will also give you a look at the uh, inside of the bearings here. They're pretty loose. I can see some dirt uh, down there. I think it's uh, grease mixed with some uh, rust. Or at least that's what it looks like. I'm gonna give that a good cleaning now. Weird looking uh, oil cup. The inside here looks like a uh, flared uh, brake line. And why is this piece missing here? Strange. I removed the paint here. It was basically just laying on top, completely loose. There is a, some chunk in, in here on the threads. Could be for uh, taking up slop in the uh, threads because the thread looks a bit worn here. And if you look further down, and it's probably impossible to catch on the camera, the thread seems to change in color bit copperish could be a helicoil but I find that hard to believe anyway lots of junk in there I'm gonna do some cleaning now upgraded to a uh, rougher uh, brush and I almost got most of the uh, rotten uh, rusty uh, cast iron thread out of there drilling it out would have been a better solution but uh, then I would also have to uh, press out the uh, bearing braces and I don't feel like doing that at least not for now the pitch on this cup uh, is 1.5 and as you can see it is pretty loose in here and they used this uh, o-ring 
to seal it off and if I'm not mistaken the thread on here is tapered I don't think the thread in here is tapered so they do not really match very well I uh, cleaned both uh, oil cups and uh, reinstalled them for now I will continue using them because I, I don't have a, a better option now I'm going to disassemble this uh, dovetailed part here because there is some dirt in here and that uh, could uh, come in contact with uh, the spindle bearing here you can see that there's quite a bit of dirt in there and it uh, really can use a bit of a cleaning I removed this little screw and I uh, expect it will slide off it's a bit rusty but it doesn't look too bad I'll uh, clean it up now and uh, reassemble it this uh, little lever here is uh, spring loaded and pushes the uh, dovetailed part up and it's only held together with this uh, screw here it won't go up any further than this push it down and tighten up this lever and it stays in place here's a look inside the uh, front bearing it feels pretty smooth nothing that catches my nail there's an uh, oil groove uh, on the top here I can feel a little uh, ripple it's not much but it is there the uh, front bearing is actually uh, better than the rear and that's uh, surprising considering the uh, front journal had more uh, damage than the uh, rear journal and this here is the rear bearing near the uh, front of the headstock I can feel some damage I think it might catch my nail but uh, no it doesn't a bit of oil is probably a good idea I was considering using some uh, kind of molybdenum grease on the spindle get a couple of those uh, grease spots that uh, when you screw them in it presses the uh, grease into the bearing maybe some uh, CV joint uh, grease is a good choice and it's not really uh, very thick what do you guys think any thoughts on this I don't think using a molybdenum grease on a uh, brown spindle is a good idea but for this um, all steel spindle it might be uh, perfect I don't know maybe I uh, just mix a bag of CV joint grease with some uh, hydraulic fluid to make it a bit uh, thicker that would be a nice uh, cocktail for an old lathe like this clean up the taper and then uh, and then try to more or less ram these parts together hopefully that's tight enough now we have to do some thread cutting so we need some cutting fluid and 
and that's as far as it goes. And now I gotta force this uh, under. Hopefully the taper won't break loose. So far it's pretty easy. Yeah, there it begins. to work it uh, forward backwards for a while see what happens I used a bit of heat and I'm uh, past the uh, difficult bit the uh, taper is uh, plenty strong Next up is this part. It uh, rides against this uh, surface here and prevents the uh, spindle from moving forward. But uh, there are wear marks on both sides, so I don't know how it should go on there. This is basically a gamble. Next up is the template. Then the washer I found. And then another one of those bastard screws ah, yeah. that's easy enough and that's it done, reassembled How much uh, end play do you think I need? This feels like a bit much. Let's do some measurements. I think that isn't bad for an old machine like this. That's about three hundred without using any force but I think it should get better when there is a bit of oil in there that's about a tenth of a millimeter end play I think it's a bit much I'll uh, probably dial it back to a uh, three hundredths of a millimeter maybe even a little less well that's it job done and I uh, did not forget the belt Uh, next uh, video, our old friend the Alan Bradley uh, frequency drive will make a comeback, so um, ears will bleed. Till then, to be continued.